Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the 21st through the 28th of August. Um, typically my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If this, re if this reading feels like it's yours, then it's yours. If it doesn't, then it's not. Okay. Um, let's just see what comes up for Pisces. Sorry that this, this is late. I had a uh, issue that I had to deal with for a couple of days, so here I am. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. We're going to get one more. Ooh. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. You know, when I get this card, you know, it says as you forgive your parents. It says you forgive, period. Healing, healing, healing is needed. Perhaps you have some romantic feelings and you need to forgive, perhaps. To allow them to, to grow, to, who knows. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Hmm. <sighs> Lack of awareness. The Hermit card. This is isolation, loneliness, midlife crisis. Oh. Ego. Jeez, uh, some crow. There you are, stuck in limbo, but wanting happiness. So, Pisces, you need to become aware. You need to take a time out. I mean, yeah. <laughs> This is lack of awareness. You know, you you know what you feel. You do, but you're back and forth as usual. Okay, you know what you feel. You have this fear of growing old alone. You may be going through a midlife crisis, but you may be isolating yourself because of how you truly feel. You know, and that's why this healing is needed. You know, even if you were abandoned as a child or neglected as a child, you know. <laughs> Forgiveness is detrimental to success in any relationship. Anyway, um, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, but it's also a card of arrogant, arrogance. Now, the Nine to the Ten of Cups is there is an opportunity for happiness, for relationship here. If you could see things from a new perspective, that's, that's, this is you needing to look at something differently, maybe through the eyes of forgiveness. This is, needs to, you need to see something differently to find this happy relationship, which you want, but there's a lack of awareness, a lack of seeing it through a new perspective. Pride is an issue. Mm. Okay, so Pisces, uh, you guys are, are probably really emotional this week. You're probably really, really in your head not knowing what to do, not knowing where to offer your heart or even what your heart wants. You know, this is a card of forgiveness. It's a card of healing. It's the card of wish fulfillment, a card of wish of fulfillment. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you could become aware. But you guys are closing yourself off to this awareness. There's no doubt about it. Okay? Mm. Now, it's like you guys have made yourself emotionally unavailable to a relationship, even though you know you want one. 
There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of grief. Perhaps there's some regrets. But Ace of Coins reverse. Now, you know, maybe you've thrown away a solid, stable opportunity because of pride. You, pride, throw, it away, throw away a solid opportunity. They're mirroring each other, so they go together. Indecision. Stuck. Uh, not stable, unstable, insecure. Refusing to see. Therefore, you closed off your heart, both these cards. This is the, this is, therefore, somebody is giving up. Somebody is giving up. The Nine of Wands reverse. Somebody is done. I'm done. I'm not going to fight for this anymore. Not. If there's nothing solid, if your heart isn't open, then I'm not going to fight for it. I give up. So Pisces, this up card also tells me that it's time to remove those bars of protection. It's time to stop Allowing yourself to live in that defensive conflict, you know, internal con conflict. It's like you guys have A lot of doubt in your fear in your head that is holding you back from being successful in a relationship. But if you could let that doubt and fear go and just look at things and as a time as a being hopeful instead of not hopeful. You know, you have to change your thoughts. There's the new perspective. That's what I'm trying to say. You need to change your thoughts that there's there's room for hope here. There's room for growth. There's room for healing. There's room for forgiveness. You know, you got to you got to look at it from that light instead of there's no hope. Okay? There is hope. There is hope. But you may think that there isn't any hope. You know what I'm trying to say? So anyway, I feel like you guys there's a it's like a, a golden opportunity. This has been thrown away. Because somebody has closed themselves off emotionally. Hard work pays off. If you want something, you just have to work for it. But there's a level of dishonesty here with the Ace of Swords. It's like, I don't want to tell the truth. I don't want to be held accountable for the truth. I don't want to, I don't want to, no. Nope. I refuse to wake up. This is lack of waking up. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to. I don't want to. Somebody needs to put in effort in regards to communication. There's no communication here. With the Page of Cups reversed, it's like, I think that you guys are afraid to communicate. You could have been dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that brought you down. Somebody that was you know, negative, somebody that is lazy. You put in all the effort and there was no relationship growth there. So I feel like perhaps you guys are dealing with somebody, you may have dealt with somebody recently that was dishonest, a liar, 
okay and they 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 told you you know everything that you wanted to hear but they had no follow-through whatsoever you put in a lot of effort to make this work and there was no integrity there so I feel like you guys were dealing with somebody that was a player they had no integrity they lied to you and now you've closed yourself off emotionally completely because this person hurt you I feel that's what it is I feel like you were dealing with somebody that was a complete bullshitter and it probably has hurt your pride but there is still hope so keep that in mind with that star card there's still hope I feel like there's been some sort of hurt there's been some sort of rejection from somebody and you've probably given up I think that you've probably given up on somebody um, <laughs> there's been a rude awakening here with the tower card there has somebody has not acted with integrity Pisces and you know I, I, I kind of don't think it's you I think it's the other person I think it's probably the pers other person that you have been dealing with probably lied to you they may have even cheated I'm not sure but I feel like there's somebody that totally um, threw you off center you may have put in a lot of effort to have a relationship with them and they lied and you probably are, are your pride is probably hurt you and that happens to everybody okay when we get lied to that everybody's pride gets hurt so anyway I feel as though now um, you've probably shut yourself off maybe you've isolated yourself completely with the hermit card the queen of cups reversed the the page of cups reversed and the knight of cups reversed you've probably gone cold you probably like oh my god I am I can't even I don't I don't even believe in love at this point. Anyway, there's a lot of unhappiness. There's a lot of sadness. I do believe that that you were were trying hard to make some sort of relationship work, but you were dealing with somebody that was a liar, okay? Um, and now you're probably really discontent and bored with where you're at. You're probably really unhappy thinking about love, thinking about, you know, what love is. I think you are probably going through some sort of crisis. I don't want to grow old alone, but I don't know what I want, you know. Um, I think that you're very confused uh, emotionally right now about love. Um, yeah, you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone here. This is mental turmoil. I feel like you, you're probably really... You're in your head, that's for sure. I mean, your thoughts are probably really, really tormenting you at this time. You know, if you could just accept what you truly feel, you know, accept what you truly feel, you wouldn't go through these, these tower moments, you wouldn't go through these negative things in your life. I think a lot of times you guys try to, to wear a mask, you try to pretend that, you know, you don't want something when you do want something. You know, you're com you stay in your comfort zone. You stay in a safe situation, even though it's not really safe. You know, um, yeah. I think that you guys were dealing with somebody who really, really used you. Oh my God, this doesn't make me happy at all. I think that this is a situation where you are dealing with somebody who is super cunning and they lied to you and you put in a lot of effort to make something work and now you're at a point of complete disbelief that this has happened and anyway I feel that there's a lot of sadness here there's a lot of hurt there's a uh, healing is needed it's like I feel I feel like you guys are going through some emotional pain right now because there's been some sort of uh, manipulation. Okay, there has. There's been some sort of somebody has manipulated you and lied to you about their true feelings. And I feel as though your pride and your ego have been hurt. And you were dealing with somebody that was a coward. Could have been a could have been a Leo. I don't know. Could have been a Leo. Could have been a Gemini. Could have been a. a, a we have Leo twice, that's why I say, I don't know if it was Leo, but somebody that was a very, mm, you know, I'm trying to be nice because I'm sure some Leos are going to watch this, but, and I'm not saying that all Leos are like this, but I feel, it could, you know, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who brought you down really bad, they used you, and it was a cowardly act, and I feel as though 
you know, you were looking for this relationship, you were looking for happiness, you were looking for wish fulfillment, but don't think the universe didn't see all this because it did. Okay, so the universe has brought about some sort of rude awakening. And it's probably caused you're probably feeling some, some coldness right now. You're probably feeling emotionally withdrawn at this time with a lot of mental turmoil. But, but, okay, this was a blessing in disguise with the star card and the tower. Whatever broke down, whatever has caused you to isolate yourself at this time was absolutely a blessing in disguise because it's going to bring you something better. It is going to bring you something better. Um, I think that... It is whatever has happened has meant to to slow you down. It's meant to make you think about where stability and security lies, about what you're looking for. I think that's what's happened here. I feel like <laughs> there you are. I feel like right now you're really confused. You're probably feeling um, Like, you'd like to escape from this reality at this point. You probably just want to escape. You may feel like you don't know if you're coming or going. I feel like the past has something to do with this. Maybe you're clinging to the past. Maybe you want to go back to the past. We have the Six of Cups. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I feel like you're... you're you're, there's something going on behind the scenes that made this happen, that caused this whatever happened to happen. There's a there's a greater plan, okay? There's a hidden force here. Oh goodness! Oh my God! Oh. Perhaps you know there's there's some sort of um, situation that needed to happen so that you could figure out where like I said earlier your stability and your security lies and it could have to do with you thinking because there's a lot of introspection needed here and it has to do with going over your choices going over your your decisions I think that there's there is definitely a blessing there's a hidden force with the tower the the star and the moon card there's something that was that's was meant to wake you up Something was meant to happen. This is an awakening, okay? There's a lot of awakening here. Something ha had to happen to wake you up. <laughs> now, I don't know if you have an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That, you know... Perhaps you tried to manifest something and start something new with somebody and it didn't work out because there's 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 some lack of, of balance or closure or something with somebody from your past. I don't know. There's a lack of able ability to move on to do something because of stubbornness, hot headedness. You're def you are definitely dealing with a deceptive situation that has now left you feeling emotionally drained, withdrawn, and insecure. And this whole situation happened because of an illusion, wanting to escape reality, not wanting to be held accountable. Now you have to make a clear decision. Do you want love? If you want love, you're going to have to not try to escape the truth. There's escapism here. Decide what you want. I feel like There's an opportunity for a reunion. If you you could make a decision, but you're so indecisive. There's a lot of indecision here. A lot of indecision. I 
I think you're clinging to the past. That Six of Cups reverse is clinging to the past. Perhaps with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You need to fight for what you want. You need to defend yourself. You need to stand up for what you want, Pisces. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. I don't know with who is there new love. It's like, no, I'm angry. I'm upset. This is like narcissistic behavior. Wanting to control everything. Wanting to be in control. Wanting to dominate. You could have been dealing with somebody that was narcissistic. And you need to defend, needed to defend yourself. Either way, there's a lot of illusion here, a lot of trying to escape reality. Pride has been a big issue. You've been going through some sort of enlightenment without even knowing it. Whatever happened, happened to wake you up. I feel like you've been through some sort of awakening and now you've go, you're have you going through a period of isolation, probably regret. Okay? Regret. And I think it is all a real blessing in disguise because there's still hope. There's still hope. There's still an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. But... You know, it's like th there's one there's one relationship that's not compatible. There's a relationship that's not compatible. There's too many arguments. There's too much. Um, there's too too much uh, dishonesty. So I feel like you have you have a, you have a choice. I do. I think you have a choice to uh, to let something go. And I think you have. I think that you have chosen to let something go that was dishonest and untruthful and I think it was a partnership I think there's been a partnership that has fallen apart it was false with the tower card it was a false foundation there was nothing true about it at all and I feel as though you know you realize that there's no chance and there's this is absolutely a blessing that it falls apart because now there's an opportunity for some sort of reunion and a new passionate beginning elsewhere you have to take a risk. So I feel like you do have a new beginning, Pisces, elsewhere. But you're going through something that has just left you dumbfounded. Dumbfounded. That's what it feels like. It looks like you went through a karmic situation that has really opened your eyes to something in a hurtful way. And I feel like now it's time for you to... You know, take a risk, replace that fear with faith, and there's an opportunity for a passionate new beginning here. But you have to take the lead. You have to master your emotions and put yourself in the driver's seat, and you have to take the lead. This is you taking the lead, Pisces. Somebody may want a relationship with you, but you aren't seeing it. Maybe you're turning your back on something that is very passionate. Maybe you're afraid to get rejected. You're afraid of conflict. Afraid of the competition, what competition there might be. But if you know, I feel like right now you should be really starting to feel some relief because somebody has removed themselves from a negative situation. I see that. And, you know, it's time for you to fly. It really is. I feel like right now you're not feeling very victorious because there's a lack of confidence. I think that you're afraid of being rejected. I There's an opportunity for some sort of Reunion. Thinking about going back. The Eight of Cups reverse. I do. I think that you're thinking about going back to somebody. But you're having negative thoughts. A lot of negative thoughts. Okay. 
King of Cups. You know, there's an opportunity for love here if you offer your heart. But you have to take the lead. You have to take the lead. There's a lot of negative thinking here, Pisces. I feel like right now you're going through a difficult time. I think that you've been hurt really badly by somebody and you're afraid of getting rejected. I think that somebody has somebody has rejected you and somebody has really hurt you and they used you and you've gone through some sort of awakening and you put in a lot of effort to make something work and you've come to find out that it was all in vain. And I think now you've probably closed yourself off emotionally and um, maybe isolated yourself from the world completely, you know, just go to work, come home, don't talk, you know, that kind of thing. And I feel like deep down you have these desires, you know, to perhaps go back to something. The Eight of Cups reversed is going back, thinking about going back, reconciling, perhaps having a new passionate beginning. <laughs> But I feel like right now you're probably very conflicted. You know, you're probably very tempted. And maybe you're trying to escape. You know, the devil is addictions. Maybe you're trying to escape the reality of whatever this is. Whatever this is, there's a strong bond. You know, there's a bond that is not broken or can't be broken or is undeniable. But I feel like you're, you're afraid to get involved in a commitment. Oh, he's still on the bottom. I thought I was shuffling. Anyway, I feel that there's an opportunity for love here if... You offer it. Whew. Let's get a couple more. Two more. Two more cards for Pisces. You may be turning away from a commitment, even though there's a strong bond. Negative thinking, fear of rejection with that six of pentacles reversed, lack of confidence. Fear of it not leading anywhere. Maybe you're maybe you're you're afraid that it's that it's dead, that it's over. <laughs> ego, ego. You know you have to step outside. You have to let put the sword down. You have to. Uh... Let go of the internal conflict to to be the winner. It's not about being the winner. That's what this is. This guy, he doesn't care who he hurts as long as he wins. It's not about being the winner. Reluctant, reluctant to move on. Staying conflicted. You need to let the old ideas of, because this is ideas, you need to let the old ideas of being on top die. In order to find peace and serenity, it takes compromise. It takes working together. You will continue to have trouble in your life if you always have to win. King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, Jesus. So anyway, I feel as though there's an opportunity for a passionate new beginning, perhaps a reunion. I don't know.
if you could step outside of your ego and, and please don't be upset with me. But that's what this is. I think that you've been hurt by somebody and you want to go back. That's what I think. A lot of you say, oh, hell no. Well, then this reading isn't for you. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive. Period. Period. And that's why this card is here. This is the card of ego. It is. And this one is too. But anyway. Once you forgive, everything else falls into place. And by the way, you know what this is. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. P.S. The six of, six of Swords. If you don't do the right thing, you will continue to have trouble. You will continue to have bullshit in your life. Choppy waters. Trouble. Troubled waters. You will continue to have trouble. You will be unable to move on. Until you put the swords down and work as a team. You have to take the lead. Get out of your head. Find that confidence. Don't worry about the rejection. keep looking at that I'm sorry anyway that's what I have I feel like this is a week there's an opportunity for a passionate new beginning but I feel as though it won't happen because you fear rejection you have to take the lead talk to you later